put wrong, but I just wanted uh, that you people need to talk for this one. Um, so uh, what is testing? According to your view, so what do you mean by testing? Anyone? Actually, to improve the product quality, uh, we usually do the testing and we can match the expected results with the actual results, Chris. And mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, and delivering a good quality product is the prime motto of testing. That is what I feel. Okay. And uh, finding the bugs in software, sir, according to requirement specification or networking, we we, we prefer software testing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is my question? What you meant by testing? Testing, not software testing, right? Okay. Uh, so now when you see now when I asked about the software testing, then probably the answers which you are giving is accurate to the software, but. Basic, what do you mean by testing? Uh, finding if the product, if the, if whatever it is, uh, if it is working in the right way or not is, is the general concept of testing. Cool, great. So uh, any other definitions or uh, any other places where we use testing? In any software or any application, any application you can test. Mm -hmm. Like in mobiles, mobile, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it, it is uh, working or not, smoothly working or not, uh, user friendly or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Appliances okay. as well. Mm -hmm. Any data? Checking the data like. Um, in general, data. in general testing is like it may be of any product or whatever it may be to check the quality of that particular thing. Uh, before it go live or before going to use it, that's why we are going to do testing. Uh, but it's 100% uh, uh, accurate to use it. It may be of anywhere. It's not like software. Anywhere we can use it, even for manufacturing. You can go anywhere. Before the product go live or going to use it to customers, we will test in such a way that it should be 100% accurate. That is what I meant testing. Cool. Good one. So uh, that means uh, overall, uh, uh, the from the... Um, uh, overall pointer which I wanted to derive is that testing can be anywhere. So that is what uh, British is uh, trying to give the pointer. Yeah, I think. Uh, um, yeah, just sorry, I'm rightly pronouncing your name or not. Yeah. So yeah, go ahead. I think you're trying to say something. Yeah, just uh, testing is uh, like you said anywhere, like uh, simply saying like if, uh, if we cook anything, we we'll simply test before uh, serving to the others. It is also one kind of testing only. Excellent, excellent. I usually I give this example too. Yes, yes. good pointer. OK, so anyone wanted to give any other pointers? <laughs> cool, so let me uh, bring you uh, the basic. Uh, uh, the basic pointer of the testing. Testing is not specific to one entity or one particular domain. Either it's a software domain or uh, a manufacturing domain, or uh, you take anything. So even if you take the cloths, or if you take the monitors, computers, or hardware, or software, or you you, you take anything in this world. So you, if you're using certain product, if you're using the water bottle, or if you're using the soap, you're using the shampoo, or whatever the daily consumer things, or even the food, whatever the things you think about it without doing the testing, will it reach to the customer? Absolutely no. not. See, even no. our mom will cook. And when she was cooking, so before she serves to us, so she will taste that and checks whether all the things are good or bad. So if something is not good, she will modify and then he will serve to us. This is not, so is this not the testing? Now you you this is by default in your default in the things. For example, I'm going in a car. Now once I get down, so I lock it and I'll once again check the door whether it is locked properly or not. Or I just get on from the bike and then I locked it and then I'll just check whether the bike is properly locked or not. Or I just lock the door and then I'm coming out and then just I'll check whether the door is properly locked or not. You, you just think about anything. So you do whatever the activities from the day, means even in your daily activities or anywhere else. So we feel that testing is part of our daily life. 
Now, testing is there, right? So now, when how you wanted to define a testing? So now, first of all, what we have been understand is where all we use the testing. So testing by this particular definition itself, we have been understood that testing is our daily part and it will be used anywhere. Now, what is exactly the testing? When it comes to, now slowly we will come to the software point of view, okay? So when it comes to the software testing, so now, now till now we have been discussed, what is testing or where, sorry, where are the areas we are going to use the testing, right? Now, what is software testing? So now I think uh, uh, Shravani, Veena and uh, others already given these particular definitions of this testing, right? What is software testing? <laughs> No, so software testing definition. means uh, finding the bugs according to requirement specification and uh, customer requirements are working or not like application. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, testing is for finding defects. Yes, okay. uh, and testing. Uh, testing, it means uh, check the quality of the software. Okay, good. So you're saying a uh, very good uh, uh, terminologies. What Actually, is that? Like, if you quality? add the performance, quality, and the functionality. Software testing is a set of executables according to functionality. Executables according to the functionality. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Now we we are using the uh, bigger bigger words, right? Let me drill down the smaller things because uh, I mean I'll come from the very basics and scratch. I know that you people have been already exp by the words or uh, the way you're defining it. I can understand that you came from a good background. Already you have the knowledge on this uh, testing area, so that's the reason you are giving these definitions. But I, I as I told you, right? So this uh, session purely concentrates from the scratch. What do you mean by quality, or how do you define the quality? You tell me what I means what what way you define the quality. I'll come to uh, the testing like, into that part. Uh, quality in the sense of uh, it's uh, the main object of the quality can be derived by the uh, either you know end user the uh, client. China, you Describing just the to... input and output, sir. Mm. Exact uh, whatever you are expecting. Yeah, standards that we have to. Meeting the requirements. Okay, I'll give you one particular thing. Now you went for a hotel, and then you have been ordered one delicious, whatever the biryani, veg or non -veg. You got that one, and then you have ate it, and then you said, "Wow." And then, uh, uh, on what basis, on the quality or on the product, on what basis you are deriving that this is really wow? Based on, the taste, on the, the taste and everything, all the accepts we are saying that maybe the taste and everything, neatness. So the expectation of the approach, taking the wow, yeah. what kind of products? And... So now, the first definition you need to understand that. So if someone wanted to know about software testing, it's not only identifying the bugs. See because. It, it should include all. When a particular product, it says it is awesome means, I'll give you a small example. Okay, let me share the screen and then you understand why I'm saying this particular pointer. Okay, now someone given me the definition. I just missed the name. Hey, identifying the bugs. Okay, now let me take um, one good example, Amazon. So because everyone very quickly uses Amazon, right? Amazon. Don't have any bugs, zero bugs, zero bugs. Okay, imagine there will be no world, no application with a zero bugs. If someone is saying that is lies, but still, okay, let me consider that it is a zero bugs. Now this application, it excellent works in Chrome. Now this is not working in Firefox. As per me, you said that there is no bugs. Then that is called testing. Now there is no bugs, but is this a quality product? No. I'll give you another example. Okay, you said that um, this is working in no bugs. Okay, no bugs. This is working in Chrome. This is working in Firefox. But 
when i do a payment it was taking 15 minutes of time it's kind of bug will it uh bug well, see now this this is latent it is latency right or it is delayed but it is functionality working fine see now what is this functionality i made my payment and the payment was done but i need to wait for 15 minutes in that particular page performance issue chris yes so now will it be a quality product or will you try to use this particular product again and again no <laughs> so means now we can take it in from different different layers from the security testing okay now i'll give you a scenario i give an ex zero bug application this works in different different browsers and it have an excellent speed but what it happens is it leaks your data means your credit card information your kyc information will be leaked will it be a quality product no 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 now tell me you said zero bugs performance and this see now when you say a particular product especially from the software testing you need to test it from the different angles so now even though so when you have been created a particular product and reach to the customer when the customer need to say wow and then he need to use that particular product so this need to identify from the different sectors different angles now you tell me what is the importance okay first of all uh, rather than defining so now i didn't define you what is software testing or the quality but before that one so i just wanted to understand uh, tell me is it really important will it make any difference or sense for sure why software testing is important for us the product is Uh, yes yes so go ahead different, so users can be use the software different platforms so like uh, desktop and mobiles and uh, tabs uh, uh -huh. and we getting uh, we getting that uh, box uh, we have we have do some software testing in different platforms uh -huh. see understand question balvin so what is my question what is the importance why so okay uh, if i don't do testing what is the impact what it will happen uh, we don't get the quality the product hello the end users end users the sorry uh, on the client requirements are satisfied or not client requirements are satisfied or not for an example now uh, i have uh, prepared a soap so client didn't given me so now because i don't give my requirements to that particular uh, uh, hindustan lever so they given me a particular soap now that didn't means that that the that doesn't met my requirements or it will happen next time you want to purchase the product next time you will not so you will stop buying that particular soap yes okay so guys please go on mute it was having some distractions okay let me pull it uh, put it in this way and i want to give you a small history usually uh, whenever i start this particular course i used to give this particular example to the all the people what is the impact of testing or why it is required okay so now i wanted to talk about this particular pointer which is impact don't worry i need to define the terminologies quality i need to define software testing and now i'm talking about impact and impact or importance what is the importance or the impact of testing if you don't do that particular testing okay so this is the point which i'm talking about it i'll see because because when i have been given this particular statement so then by default you'll be understanding this particular information too i just wanted to give you that means i just wanted to take you to another uh, uh, 30 40 years back Uh, which is in 1970s uh, and 80s and then this is really facts and you can go and then check it in your google also uh, everyone knows about uh, this particular wall disney right so uh, they have been created uh, different different uh, animation movies and animation pictures and animation games and everything right so 
at that point of time in the 80s uh, uh, and then uh, starting of the 90s so means uh, uh, early uh, uh, early 90s i can say that at that point of time they have uh, lion and king so i think many of the people you know about it right so you have uh, the lion and king so uh, that particular story and the cartoons and then re- i think recently they have been released the movie also before 2 years or 3 years uh, because of 35 years or 40 years they have been released that particular movie what this particular world is being has been done is, so at that time they used to run this particular uh, cartoon show so this was a, a worldwide grand hit uh, cartoon network or a cartoon show it was happening at at that point of time what they think is hey if i'm giving this cartoon itself it was a worldwide hit right so why can't i start a game for this one a small gaming console or something which i can give it so that i can make a lot of money so as plan immediately they have been invested on this and then they successfully created it and they released it into the market you know what it has been hit the peak of the sales within days within days it hits the sales in the peak it hit that so because of uh, the popularity of that particular cartoon network and then the game it was very fascinated to the people so that it has been taken it and within a very short time that particular peak was fallen down to a dip that company went into the crisis because you know right in us and all the areas they have a written policy 15 days written policy so now since last 5 uh, 6 years we are getting this particular written policy but from very long time they have a written policy that they can use a particular product for 15 days or uh, 30 days and then they'll have if they are not satisfied with the product they can return it back so everyone started to return that particular products and now what it happened is because of this returning not only this particular product demand dip it also declined the company profits and everything it was dip then they have started to do rca what do you mean by rca what do you mean by rca analysis root cause analysis root cause analysis means what they will try to do is they will go to the deeper level and understand what is the problem it happened now this particular software was not properly working across the systems because now someone will be using uh, uh, hp someone will be using dell someone will be using samsung so they will have different different systems different different operating systems different different sizes so now this particular software was not thoroughly checked because of this one there are a lot of crashes lot of bugs lot of issues which this particular application is not uh, worked as expected as soon it is not working as expected so then immediately the sales and everything was go down then they have been realized that they have did a biggest mistake it is a very costliest mistake that without a small means with these particular issues they shouldn't go into the market it should be tested thoroughly so that they can understand it well and then uh, uh, it can be released into the market so because of this the company has been faced the worst hit in their complete history of their sales now you need to understand that if they have been done thoroughly testing will they face this one i'll give a small example mm. so uh, and uh, these are very hypothetical situations so please don't take this as a, a serious issues okay so just for an example i was just saying that now we were drinking pepsi or coke have we seen a cockroach in it in any ever lifetime will this try to have that drink with no. one small incident with one small incident okay i'll give you a live example how many uh, means most of the people know about the patent right just one small issue that they are sharing the kyc details means as we registering into the patent our uh, uh, we will be giving our kyc details means other card bank card however are all these things are compromised and then they have been given it to the people but you just think that the stock price of patent when it reached means the uh, launched as an ipo it is 2100 rupees now you know what is the current price of uh, paytm 352 rupees 
it is 85 percentage down one small one small bug you know uh, in a previous uh, uh, one and a half year back i used to work in a company so in that particular company we found a small compliance bug compliance means the security team will check that one and they have been identified that so according to the rules and regulations of the government we need to follow that we didn't follow it one bug it cost us 75000 pounds penalty for the company what company did simply they divided that money to how many employees are there and who have been work for that particular project they need to pay this particular amount you just see that for an example now you are working means you are uh, using the amazon pen let's just give me one second please one second I'm sorry, I'm back. Now, just imagine that um, you have Amazon and you have Flipkart. You wanted to buy a product. It's not even a costly. Even you just imagine 100 rupees product. You try to pay that particular amount. And then uh, uh, when you go for a payment transaction, the app stopped working and 100 rupees is deducted from your account. Will you try to buy another product from the same product, uh, same uh, company, whatever it might be? It's 100 rupees only, right? See, for me, 1 rupee is also value because it's my hard earned money. Now, if we have a smallest bug or a smallest issue, it will collapse the company. Hey, everyone thinks that, hey, testing is very easy. Testing is very simple. Uh, means uh, uh, this can be anyone can get the job when uh, testing. Um, especially uh, when the people says that um, uh, if you're from a different uh, 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 from a different uh, sector or means that from a teaching professions or uh, uh, from a, uh, any other profession, if you wanted to convert into the software, the entry job if you take in it, uh, that would be a very simplest job which you can take it as a testing. I'll give you a small example. In a Facebook, you have an, a small bug when you're posting something or uh, uh, when you're posting an ad, it it costs you more or some bug happen uh, when you're trying to post it or someone has been hacked your account and then they started to post you this uh, things. Whom you talk about it? The tester who didn't test it properly, will you talk about him? Or you will say that, hey, I don't know what this Mark Zuckerberg is doing it, how he can't give this particular application or what this stuff this particular facebook is doing i don't want to use this nonsense i'll close all i'll shut down all my uh, social medias will you keep yourself silent you give you whatever the friends relations everyone you'll say that hey don't use this don't use this don't use this i said the previously an example of soap if it doesn't mean so for an example if i used a soap and then it reacted to my body because of whatever the reasons of my body nature will you recommend that particular soap to anyone else we'll call and say that to our friends hey don't use this phone it will have reactions you just imagine that uh, in uh, gurgaon or delhi somewhere else in the kfc shop if you see some whatever the thing so i don't want to say that whatever uh, the other living organism apart from the chicken if you find it in this particular kfc will you go back and eat in kfc again mm -hmm. it will completely collapse your company you tell me if it is so simple if it is so easy then why this importance to the testing and why it can say for an example a developer didn't do anything if some there is a bug or an issue who is the accountable person if it is going to the production who is the accountable person and who is the responsible person to identify that particular bug ba means there will be some product owners who given the requirement they'll say that i given my requirement that's it from my my job is done the developer will say i developed and i given it my responsibility is done as a tester 
he is the responsible and he is the accountable person and he is the gateway or a gatekeeper to release the complete software into the market and if anything happens he is the one who need to take that particular accountability is it a simple job a tester should need the guts and he should have the brave enough to get up and say hey boss this can't go into the production because of this so and so reason he should have the guts to say for his company ceo or whoever it matter to say that hey this is having a bug and this can't release it into the production so he should have the courage guts and he should feel that responsibility and accountability and he should do that with a great passion then only that particular software can release into the market see even if you sweep a room someone can't come and say that hey some dirt is there in this room so that's how you need to clean it right now the same way when you wanted to test a particular application you should feel that hey if i tested this particular application i bet you will not get a bug i bet this will have the highest quality and i bet this can work in any circumstances i bet i hold this complete company responsibility on my shoulder that is what the importance that is what the impact it creates the testing and everyone says that it is a very simple job very easy job anyone can do this one no anyone can't do this one because who have a real passion and always they should feel that this is in their blood and dna so if someone feels that then only they can do the real testing hey it means if you go and see in the industry there are a lot of testers lot of testers but just for the job just for this they'll be doing it if you wanted to become like a tester like that it doesn't really matter anywhere in if you go for amirpet or anywhere in somewhere else in the coast you'll be easily getting those things but always you should feel that particular passion i'm telling you right once you are trying to do this in such a way or if you learn it in a such a way absolutely i'm telling you right the opportunities even a developer will not be paid as much as a tester paid i'm not giving a, 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 a light statement this so i am the practical example for this used to have so in a, in my 18 years of career so i used to have 20x 30x when i have been started and now where i'm and then when it compared to the developers always i'll be having same years of experience with a 2x 2.5x 3x and i'm not and one more thing once again i'm saying it i'm not guaranteeing you or saying this one it all depends upon you how you have been seen things how you work hard how you work smart and how the passion you have and this this career will change you a lot you know if you go for a developer developer will say that hey ah, this is excellent career and if you go for a talk on to the devops guy ah, this will be a very excellent you can take tip everyone will say that hey this is because they have their exposure only in that area everyone will say like that so you now you might be thinking that hey this guy is a hardcore tester since last 18 years that's the reason he can pitch for only testing absolutely not i am part of multiple teams either the development or either it into the devops either into the bas either into the management either into the hr finance branding promotions which it makes me a lot of impact is from the testing do you think that means other departments are not important absolutely i'm not saying that it is not important it is everything is important you tell me uh, in your human body uh, if i ask you uh, can you give me this right hand or your left hand what you choose absolutely you can't choose anything everything is important much more a little bit important is our heart same way now when it comes to the all the departments because this will give you the reputation of your company this will collapse your company if something goes wrong it can be rectified in that particular departments but if something goes wrong in testing that will completely collapse your company you know the penalty would be some lakhs and thousands of you know what is the penalty which rbi has been given to the paytm 
which they can't even pay back. You know the penalty they have been given for Delta Corp. Okay, so probably you might be uh, Delta Corp is like a, a casinos. I Means in India we have the casino games, right? So they have been given for two lakh forty thousand, two lakh forty thousand crores as a penalty, as they have been deviated from the compliances. You tell me two lakh forty thousand. You 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 can just refer. You can just refer the articles. What is a, a penalty which it has been given for the RBI for the compliance for these gaming companies? Just a small. It's a very small mistakes. The company will collapse. So who is accountability and responsibility we need to take about? Only the guy, or only the people. Sorry, only the people. He or she, or whatever it might be. So they need to take that particular responsibility as a tester. Now coming back. So now, if you wanted to give that highest quality, what do you mean by quality? Quality defines in a different spectrum, different ways. Quality is nothing but, see now I define a quality. Uh, for an example, uh, when I given a particular product, if that guy feels, if that guy smiles, if that guy shows that excitement, wow, that is what the definition I give as a quality. Now, I've given you a Parker, which is an excellent pen that can be like touch very smooth and it can write like anything. But when I have been given that particular pen to you, you can't open that particular cap of the pen. Will it make any difference? I've given you an excellent, excellent car, a BMW or Lamborghini. So I have been given it and the car have a lot of features, a lot of features. So it can scans your body and then it can the seat can be adjusted for you, voice recommendations and what not. So self-driving, uh, everything AI, everything is there in your car. But when you start the car, the car was not started. Or the car started and jerking. So quality defines every factor which it will make you the wow. That excitements. And that smile on your face. See now, why everyone use Amazon or Flipkart? There are a lot of uh, other uh, uh, portals are also there, right? Retail practitioners, uh, uh, online retailers. But why everyone will use Amazon or Flipkart? There are more than 1,600 and, uh, retail portals in India. But hardly we use four to five. Why? Only one pointer, which is customer satisfaction. Because if, if you don't like a product, it can be replaced back. If your money is, I mean, the money would be refunded on time. And the services which they have been provided. So if you have any particular problem, we have a customer care, we reach. All those things are also, of course. So many a times we will be not compromised or many a times not happy with all these particular things are there. But still, out of 1,600 portals, we used only three or four portals. So only because of the customer satisfaction. And you have that trust, confidence. And the most important word, credibility. Now, you tell me, once you lost your trust, once you lost your credibility, will you come back to the same thing? No. Absolutely not. We can't do anything for that. So the most important thing is, so now how we will lose the trust? For an example, now I said that this particular product will work. For an, uh, I'll give you an excellent phone, which is nothing to have been given to you. Now that phone has been stopped working after a month, because one month I have been given you a guarantee to replace it. Now after one month, the phone was not working. As soon as I spent 40,000 bucks and I bought this phone, one month it is good and I can't replace now. Now searching for this particular uh, nothing service centers nearby, going to that showrooms and having that one, I don't have the warranty or guarantee. Now will I buy the phone again back? Will I refer this phone to anyone else? <laughs> so this is what all includes. Now you tell me, I'm using a phone 
Now, for an example, I'm using an app, means why the iPhone have more number of customers or more fancy or fascinating about that particular iPhone. Why the people go and stand it in the line, queue, and then get that particular by the phone, even though the phone cost, it is one and a half lakh, where you're getting with the same features, within 20K, you'll be getting it, but still you're spending 1 lakh 60,000 or 1 lakh 70,000 bucks to buy a phone. The quality makes the difference. It would be like a out of the box. It will make you to stand out of the box. Even the price is more. The people will stand in the queues and then buying it. Even though you're giving it for a cheaper price with all the same features, but the people are not having it because of the trust, because of the credibility which that particular phone has it. So that's the importance of quality. And that's the importance of testing. Now you define me what do you mean by software testing. See, when I'm saying, right, when you test a particular application, testing the nook and corner in all the layers, whether it's a front end or in the back end or from the security or from the performance, everything it includes as part of the software testing. It's not only testing for the bugs. Functional bugs. You will understand what is functional bugs or performance bugs or security bugs. These all things. Anyways, we have a lot of journey to talk about them. So the testing is a simplest process of verification and verifying in all the layers. So this is called a software testing. And always, you need means what I wanted to train for uh, or mentor for my uh, team is I always wanted. Uh, people to learn it in a very simple language, express them in a simple language, and give the examples when they try to explain. And at least bother about the language. Because if I'm not talking in my, my mother tongue, then I need to feel, feel that guilty and insult. But English is just a language to present it. If you're really not comfortable, I'm, I'm fine if you present it in, uh, when you're learning, okay? When you go for an interview, just you can try to do it. But at least when you're trying to learn, so what is important for me is to, you need to give back the answers, whatever it might be. Don't worry about, hey, I can't see even, I, I, I'm not able to speak English till my uh, uh, 10, 15 years of experience also, I'm not able to speak very good English. Many of the people used to comment me, that's okay. But what it mattered to all of us, the skill and the knowledge and the attitude, this is important, not about my language. That breaks everything. So always you need to remember. So first you present with the live examples. Don't buy hard. So, you know, we are not from the college now, or we are not because many of the uh, uh, of the freshers and the grads are there in this batch. So when I see the list, so that's the reason I'm concentrating on them and I'm saying it. Don't buy hard the definition and then come back and then say it to me. So many times we uh, we seen in uh, one of the movie, right? Three idiots. In that movie, uh, that guy will come and then uh, he will start to uh, uh, say continuously, hey, uh, you know, you, uh, there would be a power supply and then that power supply will come to a uh, mechanical energy. The mechanical energy will convert into the uh, electrical energy and the wind energy. And then after that, when, just you need to put on this. What you are trying to say, that lecturer asks, he says that, hey, turn on the fan. Then he will ask, hey, why you wanted to say all these things? See, that is what I'm saying, sir. So it should be very simplest way to explain. So always you remember, you should remember that don't by heart the definitions. The excellent part of the testing is by the name itself, you can understand what is the type of or the category of testing which we need to perform. So just take the live example and then let them know, hey, this is how, I, for an example, I have an Amazon application. I used to do in such a way. So this is called a functional testing or this is called a regression testing. See, that is how you need to learn so that you can remember it for a very longer time. If you buy hard that one, you will just remember it for a week, maximum a week. And after that, you'll forget. So that is what you do. we do, right? So we have our engineering exams tomorrow morning. And night, we will take that. We will finish it off. And next day morning, we will go, we vomit, and then come back. That's it. And will we remember what we have been learned? 
So the 16 marks questions, whatever we have been written, do we remember now? So uh, what is our SDLC? So all these things we have been learning, right? So uh, our RDB, uh, RDB BMS, and then uh, so we have been uh, learned a lot of layers. Means what are the networking layers, and uh, what are the presentation layers? These all things we ISO layers, right? So we have been learned and 16 marks questions for us. Do we remember them all? Rather than in that way, you just take it in a story, or you take have the practical implementation. Learn anything with a practical implementation. You think that will you forgot this? Probably, but still the tenure would be more than one year or two years. And you can recollect that very quickly. See, that is how you should learn these particular definitions or the implementations because there are lot of categories of testings we have. So now you need to have the smoke testing, regression testing, unit testing, clear testing, white box testing, black box testing, or you would be having monkey testing, alpha testing, beta testing, authentication, authorization. You have a lot of different categories of testings are there. So you should know how to use them practically. So now this particular sessions from this, what we will try to do is I'll take stupid examples. But still what I'm trying to give you that particular example is so that you can remember that particular example for a longer time. So that is how we will be having the definitions and then explanations of that particular different categories of explanations. Or the testing. So now holistically what I wanted to talk for this particular testing, this particular session is what is testing? Where all the testing are to be performed, and what do you mean by software testing, and what do you mean by quality, defining of the quality, and what is the impact or the importance of testing, which it will have. So these are the five topics which we have been discussed till now. So any particular questions or any other pointers to me before going to the next topic? Any questions on these particular topics? Not more means up, not means anyways. The topics will come one by one, and uh, the list of topics and the content, the course content, you will be uh, shared by Pina, so that you can see it. And every content will be taking up there, and then we'll be following with that particular respective contents, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. Um, any questions or any other pointers here? So in terms of what do you mean by defining the quality? What do you mean by the software testing? What do you mean by the impacts and the impo importance? And what is testing and where all the testing is used? So these are the topics which we covered now. See, probably at this point of time, still you might be having a question. Hey, I didn't have a proper definition of quality. See, if you have the proper definition of a quality, if you go into the Google, you'll get a lot of uh, definitions. But you need to understand the concept when it will be having means when we say that it is a good quality product, means it should have the complete things as a package. Then we will say it as a quality product. I am giving you an excellent food, but the food is not hot when it's served. That wow factor is missing, right? Now, uh, the food is hot and it's served very good, but that food is salty. And the, the, the ingredients they have been used with a high quality, everything they have been used, a good uh, uh, rice grains, or they have been used a good quality of the, uh, the vegetables, which they have been used, everything. But I have been put more masala into this. See, quality means it, it should have all the proportionate things at a right, means at a right proportions. And that will give you the what it will give you the end resultant factor is it gives you that particular wow factor and it gives you the smile, the customer satisfaction. So this all things defines us as a quality product. Or a quality now you you define to anything. See, I'm purely talking from the point of software testing point of view. Okay, fine. So let me jump into the next topic, which is very simple and easy, but still we need to have the differentiation so that it can be have, we can discuss about this one in, in detail. What do you meant by P means a product versus project? What do you meant by a product and a project? This is project and this is product. Yes. Product 
versus project. Product is something which we can see physically. The, uh, which we can the see it. Is, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean we can use it. Mm -hmm. I can't say we can use. Mm. Uh, see, one more thing, Shamini. It's not right or wrong. So it, it is important that you're speaking. That is important, Shamini, so that you can go ahead. So here, I'm not here to judge. The means if if you if you're giving me a right definitions and everything, then you know, there is no need for for this session. So absolutely don't mind. So whatever you wanted, you can give that point. No, that actually yeah. flashed my mind because if it is a, even a project, that will be a, a software which we can use it. So I just took back my word. Absolutely, absolutely. See now that is where you will be start thinking, right? So that is what we yes. wanted. Yeah, yeah. So product means contain a document information. Uh, document hmm. information. So here project. Um, you can say project. project uh, either okay, application one one. or software. I think Chennai is talking, right? Yeah, go ahead, Chennai. Yeah, um, project which means either oh. application or a software uh, which can be developed for only specific uh, users, kind of. Uh, Project mm -hmm. is nothing but specific customer requirements. Sir. That is called project. Product is nothing but multiple customers can use in the market, market requirement or mobile or whatever it may be. That is called product. Uh, you can say examples for product is Yono, Phone Bay. These are mm -hmm. all things we can say for the product. Mm -hmm. so coming to project, we can say like internal tools for the project. Mm -hmm. Project sir, is product? nothing but specific specific requirements, sir. Uh, sir, product, yeah. product, is, is, the, like product, a, product is the product is the end okay. end. Uh, please raise your hand because if, if everyone is speaking, uh, uh, that will confuse the people. So please raise raise your hands uh, in the chat so that I can ask them so that you can talk one by one. We can talk about it. Okay, so Balavinod, go ahead. Uh, product is the uh, end thing that is go that we're going to get, and the project is the process of making that end product is called uh, project. Mm -hmm. Veena, uh, if any application is developed for the specific customer sir, requirement, that is called project. Product means multiple customers uh, on the market requirement uh, where they are using. Uh, particular mobile or anything else that is called product. Any application or any based on the market requirement. Excellent, excellent. Um, yeah. So because already it you have been given uh, the that answer. Actually, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, the product would be something we we usually sell it, and to to design a product will be. Uh, will achieve the uh, goal of designing a product with a set of instructions, which is called a project. That's okay. So almost uh, uh, fine. So almost you people has been reached to the uh, answer. So slight variation, but I think most of the people uh, you got a good understanding about it. But let me give you that particular clarity on this one. What do you meant by uh, a product versus the project? Okay. Now. Let me first take the layman example so that we can understand from the software point of view. We just we step out from the software. Now I do have a prepared um, uh, some shampoos, right? So now we have a lot of uh, shampoos, right? So head and shoulders or Pantene or uh, uh, you have a clinic plus a lot of shampoos which you have. So with keratin sulfate free shampoos and all these particular shampoos are giving it. Now we will call this particular shampoos as project or product. Product. Those are products. Now not only the you, 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 not only the particular product. shampoos. You take any particular consumers consumable things. Means for an example, Maggie or you can have Lays. So now these all things means the cool drinks or whatever it things we'll be calling them as pro product. What you meant by the product means based upon the market requirement. What exactly now it goes? What is important in the market? They analyze the market. 
not on a specific person. So they will be doing a group analysis at the different age levels. Hey, for an example, now you take it uh, Bajaj or you take the Hero Onda. Now they will concentrate at a set of people. Okay, now uh, from the 16 to 24 people, they will have one category of bike. What is their requirement? Hey, that. Uh, they, they should have a big wheels and then they should have uh, at least a speed of uh, 160 to 180 kilometers, blah, blah, blah. So they will be having those particular requirements. According to that, they design that bike. And from 25 years to 35 years, they design another bike. And from 35 years to 60 years, they will design another bike. Analyze that particular group of people and then on that, they will create these particular things. Means the requirements will be not given by a specific client or specific person. So this would be based upon the market analysis. They will do it and then they will derive this particular thing. So these things are called as a product and this can be sold. And both, you know, product or project, both are sold, sold. And this can be used anywhere by the respective customers. Now, for an example, now you have Ola. Ola is a product, right? So now based upon the market requirement. So now Ola app, I'm saying it, or majorly we will be using Swiggy, right? So now Ola app or Swiggy. So these are things are called as a product. Why? Because none of us, we have been given this particular required to them. They themselves analyze the market. Hey, there is a requirement, a meeting between a passenger and a driver uh, for bringing the car to drop to the respective destination. So then they created this particular ID strict solution. So then they will be providing it as Ola. Same way, I have multiple restaurants. I need to create a platform which it can have bridge the gap between the end user consumer plus the hotels, the restaurants around that place. So then they have been derived this particular product, which is Swiggy. See, by this means, you should be able to understand that. Now you take anything. Amazon is a product, Flipkart is a product. So now these all things are based upon the market analysis they have been created these particular products. And we are the end users. Another best examples, Microsoft uh, 365, Office 365. You're using the PPTs, you using Excel, Word, everything you'll be using it, right? So these all things are product based, right? That's a, that will be calling, that software will be calling it as product because based on the market analysis, which is very important, they create that and then they'll release into the market. So now, whereas the projects, now coming to the project means we give the specific requirements. I'll give one stupid example. So now I have some occasion in my home. What I'll do, I wanted to prepare some sweets, right? So now I wanted to prepare some ladus. okay? Now when I wanted to give that ladus, so I can go for a shop and I can buy that particular product from the shop. Or else I'll go to the shop and I'll give them the order. Boss, tomorrow I'm going to get 500 uh, people to my home so that I probably, I need to have another 750 ladus because 250 I'll be keeping as a spare. So 750 ladus I wanted. And these all ladus need to be done with the ghee. And you should have not more sugar, less sugar. Or instead of sugar, can you mix with jaggery? Because that guy in his products, he will be preparing with the complete uh, with sugar. But now I wanted with a jaggery. And with this particular jagger, create this particular ladus and give it to me. And this ladus should be having some silver foil on that particular top. And this should be having some orange and then yellow color greenish shade. And then it should be uh, very dry. Uh, it shouldn't be not so dried so that it should be juicy with this particular ghee around it. And this is how we need to. See, now you're giving certain requirements to that particular shopkeeper. And then you're asking him to prepare and then give it back to you. This is called project. The same way, now I wanted to start my own business. I wanted to create a website for this particular website, what the content it should be, what the logo should be, what the name should be, and how it should be there. If I given my own requirements to them and then ask them to prepare this particular product and give it back to me, uh, uh, give the requirements to the people and then ask them to prepare and give it back to me, then this is called project. Any particular software, if you given the specific requirements and after the based on the specific requirements, if they do it and then they give it back to us, then this is called as a project based or this is called product based. Why we need to understand this particular project or product 
means complete IT sector has been divided into two sections, which is service based companies and the product based companies. The name itself, it was saying that, hey, we provide you the service, software services. Either it is a testing services, either it's a development services, or all together you wanted to give it to us. Now you need to understand which sector you should choose, what the sectors are there in the IT industries. So now whether I need to go for a service-based company or a product-based company. So service-based companies are PCS, Wipro, Infosys, CTS. So these all are called as service-based company because they provide the service to the client. And these all are product-based companies, which are Ola, Swiggy, Amazon, Flipkart. They themselves have their own product and they can develop that particular product and then they can release that particular product. So this is called product-based companies. Yeah, why I should know about these particular differences? It defines you the job opportunities. It defines you the complete uh, from the point of the salaries, designations, everything. And we'll be having the learning curves. Everything will have the pros and cons. So which the pros and cons you need to choose it. So how we need to start, how we need to do it. So all these things will be depend upon this particular company which you are going to join and how you are going to expose. See, always what I believe is, if you work hard and if you learn to the latest trends and technologies, then your life will be good. If you have been luxury, enjoying now in your career, starting of your careers, then in future you will struggle. Definitely, life will not leave us. It will give, it will give back everything and it will make you to learn everything. Because what I'm saying is, when we choose in it, so always we, we try it means to me and personally, I'm speaking about myself. So I used to say, okay, I'll take the simpler way. So then it would be okay. After, because of that one, I struggled a lot, a lot, a lot. Then, okay, if then I thought like if someone has been guided me and the initial steps, if someone has been guided me, hey, you do it this way so that it can be helpful in your career if you have been down this. That particular thing, I always feel that if I've been someone has been given to me, I'll be in a very good thing, I mean, very good position. I see, I'm I'm very comfortable and I'm, I'm I'm very happy and glad what I'm now. But still, I always have that particular thing. Hey, if someone has been guided, we'll be in a much more better position. So now, what we suffered, we don't want you people to get suffered for that. So that is the reason. So we we are giving you this particular instructions, but it's absolutely to you. See, we'll show you this way and this way. Choosing which one is your choice. See, always we have that particular proverb, right? We can take a horse to a river, but we can't make a horse to drink water. So always that's that is where you need to decide and then you should take the choices and how we need to learn. See now, entire this particular training session, what we will try to learn is how to learn the things and how we will be making you as a self-enabled. See, many times we'll be stringent in these particular sessions in the course. But what it is matter to you is, tomorrow if you wanted to learn any new course, which is not testing or whatever it might be, you can learn on your fingertips. There is no dependency. I'm, I told you, right? If you want to catch a fish, so we will not serve you cooking a fish and then in a bowl and then we'll be giving it to you. We will make you to fish, how to fish a fish and then get that fish, clean the fish cook the fish and eat. So this is how we try. We don't want it to serve you with a simple cooked fish in front of you. So that once you learn that, now whatever, either it's a river, either it's a pond or it's an ocean or it's a sea, it doesn't really matter. You can fish it and then you can get it. So that is how we wanted to do it. However, so I think I have been diverted uh, from the topic. So this is how we should know about the differences between the services and the product and product-based company, service-based company. What are the things it would be happen in the service-based company? What are the things which will happen in the product-based company? So everything would be different. Altogether, it's a different because duplex house is different. Independent villa is different. Apartment is different. Three-bedroom house structure is different. Two-bedroom house is different. So now, even in the homes itself, you have this, this many differences. When you have a separate sectors, how you need to test that particular application or you should know about it. Hey, what are the different 
classifications we have it and how i need to conquer that particular classifications you should know then only you will be understanding it right and for that one it changes the cost of villa will increase the time of construction of villa will increase but it is apartment in these things will also decrease because the cost of the apartment will decrease compared to the independent so everything will have their own pros and cons in the classifications and then implementations in service based companies how you do the testing and in the product based companies how you do the testing and how you can construct that so how you need to implement that those all things varies but what we wanted to make sure is we wanted to give you a good foundation means for a building how the foundation helps so to learn to do for the service based testings or product based testings so now you should know the core score information the core concept of testing if you understand this one testing these things will not be a big deal for you okay so this is what uh, we are going to continue for tomorrow so tomorrow what we'll be talking about is different roles in the it industry because you should know with whom you are going to talk and from them what you are going to get what are the different type of people or different type of designations you'll be having across the industry so that is how you'll be we'll be starting on this one and secondly we will be talking about sdlc okay so from today i just wanted to give you a quicker assessments uh, so go back and uh, i think uh, there would be an uh, uh, flow diagram of the sdlcs and then you will be having uh, uh, previous videos in the sessions which you need to look after it and one more thing we don't means we don't promote any videos or we don't want uh, the likes or these things uh, you promote you subscribe we don't want anything those things as we said that we will not expect anything for this particular course from you only the just thing you need to help your friends others so you can either see the videos or you wanted to go and then see any other videos in the youtube channel we are very much open and i am saying that there are much more legends in the market they train very very well so you can see that particular videos and then come back to the session but what is the underlying point on which i wanted is so tomorrow when you are coming to the session you should prepare and then come so i'll be asking you what is sdlc what are the different type of sdlcs or different type of phases explain me the phases you should able to explain me those things so now where you have the clarifications and doubts so that would be i'll be solving that particular part so this would be for our tomorrow's agenda and these are the things which we have been covered for today okay